All right, welcome back to Video Bros, and we are gonna finish exploring the rest of this dungeon soon enough. All right, sorry for the last episode, I got mad. Yeah, you all, you all know I'm. I'm, I'm Jeffrey gonna... has a very good reason why he's mad. I know we already said that already. But it's it had to be said. So I had to get so I had to say it out. He had to vent. I had to vent. Not like that's a normal thing on on on, on any Let's Play channel, but once in a while it'll happen. We we'll talk about. We like to talk about our feelings. Like talk well, about. What what the fuck does normal even mean anyway? There's no such thing as normal. No, there isn't. Like, I hate I hate when people say, "Oh, we're not normal." When people say, "Oh, I'm I hate not... when people say, why can't you be a normal person?" Like, no, you, you know what I hate? What do you I hate superficial girls though that say like, "Oh, you're not normal. and You're not perfect." Like fucking, you know thing is perfect. You know thing is normal. Well, they, they think they're better than everybody else, and they're not. I mean. They're we, not. I mean, we all have I, our... I went to high school with a bunch of them, and they were a bunch of ugly whores. Like, they were hot for a few years in the middle school, and then when we hit, like, 10th grade in high school, they were all just, like, really used up and, like, disgusting looking. Yeah. One, one of them even had, like, a... It was rumored, but I'm pretty sure it's true, because I've heard she even takes medicine for it, that there was a girl in uh, my, group, my school I went to school with who even had uh, genital herpes. And... Because she, she like had sex with like a tenth grader or something. I think you're gonna say like, general warts. When she was like seventh grade, she had sex with, like a tenth grader. Yeah, I think you're gonna say general warts. She had like general herpes. Like I was just thinking about when I you said that. I don't know if that had to do with it, but no, I don't know because when you when you said that, I was thinking about the family. I think like general warts. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of my favorite Family Guy moments. <laughs> Whoa, fuck! I meant to blow the leaves away first. I thought you were gonna say that though. General Wards. Hey Jeffrey, speaking of blowing things, uh, let's do this joke for the for the viewers. Did you ever blow bubbles as a kid? Uh, of course. You say yes. Well, he's back in town and he's looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> how how funny is that shit? That is funny. I remember my friend Anthony. Wait, uh, he's back in town and been blowing other shit. He's back in town and he's looking for you. Oh damn! Because he blew him when you were a kid. <laughs> Okay. This, like, really funny Italian kid who was in my class, uh, Anthony Amoroso, in, uh, 12th grade, he, like, he would, he was a funny guy, I miss that guy, uh, I miss his classes with him, he, like, he would tell us all these funny, like, stories, and they were all just so funny, and, like, he, he was, like, at one point, he would, like, uh, he said, like, this joke to us in class, to see if anybody would get it, and I just could not stop laughing when he asked me that. You wanna hear when, a joke? When he, when he told me that joke. You wanna hear a joke? What? Pussy. Do you get it? Because of I have cats? No. You, you don't get it. No. Look. Okay, wait, 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 let me put it another way. Wanna hear a joke? Dick. you get it? No. Good. You don't get the joke, do you? Oh, oh wait, now I, I've heard this before. Yeah, I get it. You get it now? Yeah. Because of saying pussy, I don't get it. Uh, you don't, you, you don't, you don't you get You don't get pussy. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I get it. I've heard that before. I think from you. I don't remember when you've told me that. Oh, this one you have to go on here. I think you've told me that before. Yeah. Yeah, that was just to get a treasure chart. So, so the rest of this room is just pointless. So, right. now we are back out. By the way, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you agree with me. Uh, there's a guy who's trying, who, for years, he, I don't know if he still makes videos, but, uh, his videos are absolutely horrendous, and they gave me, like, terrible, like, boredom. Is this, like, a I rate gamer? Yes, they give me terrible boredom and stupidity whenever I would, like, watch his videos just to laugh just at. Just hit it right now. You only get all of them at once. You only get, get that one... You're not, gonna, you're not gonna get that one yet. Just get, get what you can. Where, like, these videos are just so stupid. He, like, tries to be, like, the angry video game nerd, except he's not funny. And he he's... looks a lot older than the angry video game nerd. Like, he's, like, in his 40s. Trying to do shit. I thought him. he was, like, younger. I thought he was, like, around our age. I have no idea how old he is, though. Who, the guy can... in that video? Yeah, his name's Chris Boris. No, he looks he looks, he looks older. I could tell people how old, like, some people how old they are. Like, maybe I could tell definitely how old All they right. are. The guy we were talking about is, in fact, the Irate Gamer, and if you're watching this right now, Irate Gamer, I'm telling you this right now. You suck. 
He does suck. I was just watching a video that you showed me with him of Super Mario Brothers 2. Uh, he's he, he supposed to be funny. It's not... He's trying to be funny. No, you know, his videos are funny, but it's not the content. It's not that... What it's, he not, does, it's not... It's not the that... It's not the content that's... that's funny like AVGN. It's just like, it's funny because it's really No, he's not, making, he's not making any funny jokes it's just, or anything It's like just funny because of how bad they are. I mean, he just it's, really... It's one of those bad, good things, kind of like with the movie being so bad that it was just... Like a good bad movie. Like, it was it's like, like one of those it's things. It's like so bad that everything in there is so stupid you have to laugh at it. It's like stupid. Recently, like, Game Rounds were talking about this and they mentioned it in an episode about uh, The Room. And I remember me and Anthony watched that movie together a few years ago. That movie is horrendous, but it's so funny. What's the name of the movie? The Room? Yeah, I told you about it once. I don't think I ever watched that movie. It's like one of those like drama movies, but it's just so bad. You have to get all four. You have to get all five of them at once. Oh, this yeah. is a, this is annoying. Like this was not annoying in the in the, in the first game. Yeah, it was. first no, was. No, in in the, in the in the in this one, it seemed more annoying. You have to turn the actual c c controller pad around. Or you can turn it with your thumb while you're aiming. That's what I just did. Yeah, but you didn't get that one right there. What the you fuck? Didn't get, you didn't get all of them. I got all of them, but for some reason, one of them was delayed. Well, you probably didn't get most of them. No, I I got all of them. It's just you have to be like really. You have to be like dead in the center to be perfect. Otherwise, if you move, now it's... you got it. No, what the fuck? You didn't get that one. Yes, I did. I know. No, it didn't actually hit it though. Yes, it did. No, it didn't hit. Yes, it did. It went out. You went out too fast. You gotta do it like really fast. You gotta like do it like, really fast. It's really hard to do that. It's really hard to like circle around like a fucking ninja and just do that shit. What the fuck? This is bullshit. I never have this problem. Well, I, if you can't do it, I can't help you. I cannot help you. What a bunch of Aspergers with a side of ass fries. Fuck, that's really bad, though. What the fuck? No, you know what you should do, though? Try not to get that one. Try to, like, like go... No, you have to. No, I'm saying don't hit that oh, one in first. Oh, hit in a different order. Hit him in a different order, though. Try that. I think that could be it. Because I think that might matter, too. Yep, there we go. Told you. I'm smart. One like for Jeffrey, zero for Brandon. Alright, and now we get to the boss key. And uh, I think Stephanie texted me back. Did she? That her? She probably texted me back too, but I can't answer her yet. I can't answer her right now because I'm recording. Alright. Did she have anything fun to say? I was telling her before that, like, I need to get her into, like, better metal bands, because... She, and then she's, like, just now, she's like, I don't listen to metal, I listen to Screamo. Because, oh, oh, Because God. she was saying yeah. she needs to go to an escape... She, talk, she told me that exact to same thing. To go to an escape phase. So I her, I'm like, ew, emo band. She said... I, I asked her, like, I remember she went e to... Emo a, band that tries to be metal, but they're not metal whatsoever. She wants to go to an escape phase. Some people think they're metal. They're not metal whatsoever. They're emo. Straight up emo. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like them a lot. I mean, I like... My nephew would even tell people that, that try to, like, call it band metal. It's like, they're not metal whatsoever. It's not metal. It's like, it's like, not even cold. It's not even screamo. It's like... You're not ever gonna see a metalhead wearing an escape the fate shirt. You're gonna see emos and seekins wearing that shit. Not necessarily. There's some, there's some bands. Oh, there. shit. <laughs> That's like that time with that Bobblin in Dragoner's Cave. Do you see that shit? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, people, it. instead of doing an instant replay, you're gonna have to rewind back to that part because... Yeah, I'm not doing an instant replay. To see it for yourself, because that was really funny. I that, remember... That, that Moblin, like, punched the other Moblin and killed him in, for me. It was awesome. Yes. I love getting enemies to hurt each other. It's 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 so funny when it happens. Um, what are you saying before? Like, they make that face at him. They're like, what the fuck did you do that for? What you saying before? Like Stephanie doing? She said she wanted to go to the Escape to Fate concert. I would never go to one. I mean, I used to like their music. But now I, you realize they're a bunch of ass. Well, it's not just it's not that. It's just some of their music. I mean, there's some song that I can I can listen to, but it's just I don't. I can't listen to them on, a, on like a daily basis. It's like something I, I can't. can take a shit quicker than I can listen to them. Actually, I don't think I can do that. I can li take a shit quicker than I can listen to a whole song of Escape the Fate. No, but seriously, I mean, I can I can listen to like a few songs that are actually I I kind of I I like, but 
It's just... I can't listen and watch it and I used to go. Didn't you say that about Avenged Sunhold too? And I told you that they are not metal whatsoever. They're emo. They're not. It's, it, it, I told you when we first met. I'm like, dude, they're not metal. They're emo. No, it's like they're, they're like half metal, half. They're, they're, it's like half metal, half emo. No, if anything, what they, that that would be called their uh, their poser metal. I'm gonna say right now though, I don't like anything new that they make now because. Uh, I don't think anybody does. Because, no, like, anything new that they make now because except of the like fact, the hardcore fans that like no. still think they're good and they want to accept the fact. Because the no, just because the, the drummer died, it's not the drummer that died from that band. Um, the Rev, whatever the name, Jimmy something. I remember my friend Jared like used to make like rent videos about music and stuff, and he like he made ones for metal and he made ones for hip hop and stuff, and he was saying in a video once when he was talking about the Golden God Awards a few years ago in like 2010 he was saying that the only reason the Rev won an award is because he fucking died he no. said he said that in the video that that's the only reason he won I don't believe that that, that he won the award is because he died I don't believe that I'm not I'm not I'm sorry I mean, he, that guy has talent though like as a drummer himself someone could be in a very shitty band and just be an amazing like person of that band and like that, they should they could just would be like wasting their talent and time in that band. Well, you know what was really weird about that about that about uh, that they had like really good potential. Well, you know what was really weird about the, how he died though that I read on one. But that, he like said natural causes that usually means drugs. Well, he probably died from that. Well, he probably died. That's how most he, people from bands. Well, are, he said he died from a heart attack. That's though. how most musicians die. We said he died from a drugs. heart. I think he died from a heart attack though. It said natural causes. Well. I read somewhere else where he said he died from a heart attack. You know what's really great about that though? That's really kind of freaky though. What? He made a song for for the for the album Nightmare that 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 came out in 2010. I remember that like, gay shit. Anyway, he made he made a song for it and then he called it he called it death, right? And you ever see people in my job wearing Vince Sunbolt shirt? I'm, I just like try so hard not to laugh. I try to like suppress my laughter. Mm. Um, what I was saying before though, um, he made a, the, he made a, he made a song, he, or he wrote lyrics to a song called Death, that was not, what, the name of the song actually called Fiction, cause they, cause, cause that was his nickname, after he died, they named the song after, after him, as a tribute, oh, but anyway, that, that was actually nice of them, but what I'm getting at here though, um, the song, but, when yeah. he, when he, when he, when he first made that song though, the song called Death, Three days later, after he made that song, he died. That's fucking crazy. Like, like he makes a song called Death, and then three days later, he died. He dies from it. He dies from it. You know what's weird? I'm not going to be surprised if I get... Yeah, we got a lot of chips everywhere. I'm not going to be... I didn't see any. Maybe it's you getting chips anywhere, not me. I don't know. But, no, it's like... I don't know. I'm probably place. going to get crucified for this by people that are like... Dude, you're atheist. You're not going to get crucified for shit. You know what I mean. Yeah. From like, you're, you're, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, shut, you're gonna, you're gonna get shut up and let me finish my story. Alright. For like people that are like hardcore, like A7X fans, it's like, like, anytime like someone tells them that Avenged Sevenfold sucks, they're like the fan base, the typical fan base, it gets immediately pissed off and starts screaming at you if you say that that band sucks. I'm not saying the band suck, I'm, not, I'm just saying they're not as good as they, they, so they used to So, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised if people comment on the channel on the video saying this shit. It's like, calm down. Because the only thing they're I've like, ever... They really start going ape shit, like having seizures when you tell them they 7 sucks. They do, I don't, I don't understand When you tell them they 7 sucks, they're just going like, to have seizures and like... They're going like, to... They're throwing a little shit fit. Alright, we beat the boss. We beat the, we beat the boss in, in, um, in, in Forest Haven. Forbidden Woods is the dungeon. Forbidden Wood dungeon. But the place is for shame altogether, but this part is the Forbidden yeah. Woods. Okay, I guess we're gonna end the video after we get out of here and fight for, find, see what happens. This is, this is a good ending spot. This is a good ending spot we after, had, we, after we, we figure out what's going on after this. Ooh, we got, we got another uh, heart container now. We didn't get Oh, we actually got it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't walk out without getting it, dude. You need that shit. Especially for later in the game, when you have to have harder bosses. Oh, we're gonna talk. To the Especially ship again. when you get. To we're gonna, we're gonna go back now. We're gonna go to the to the dragon. What's his name again? The King of Red Lions. The King of Red Lions ship. 
I always felt like that. Well, I always read this his the texts when I'm talking to a great Dick Cherry in like a black guy's voice. I don't know why. <laughs> he looks like he's a black guy. Like, it, it makes you feel like, like it makes you feel like that if someone were to do his voice, it'd be a black guy. I don't know why. It just it, it made me think that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna pay Morgan Freeman. We're gonna pay Morgan Freeman and Mary for us. Yeah, right. <laughs> I remember once this, this kid James in a class in high school said this, and he brought up a very good point. When we were watching a movie once with Morgan Freeman, I'm pretty sure it was a Shawshank Redemption, which is an awesome fucking movie. By the way. That is a great movie. And plus, it's directed by the same guy that directed that uh, the guy, the guy that directs Walking Dead. When that show came out and started, it was known for and said in the commercials from the same director of the Shawshank Redemption. Didn't Stephen King make a movie? Didn't make one like that? I don't know. Good question though. But oh, uh, he did though. But, like. He did, he did, he, he made a long rendition, though. But, uh, anyway, um... I think he made a book for it, though. Any, anyway, yeah. um... James, like, was saying, like, about Morgan Freeman, he's like, w I feel like that Morgan Freeman was just, like, always old, even when he was born. You do, he, like, had the same exact look as he does now, like, all, like, all his life. Oh, like, okay. he, like, he never gets old. <laughs> he just stays the same age forever. Oh, did you see the episode of South Park? When they, when they, oh, the Minecraft episode. Which is true. In, like, ten years, you're going to see him in a movie, and he's going to still look the same as he does now. Exactly. Did you see the, like, the Minecraft episode of South Park? When yes. Morgan Freeman had a, Morgan the Freeman. Murder, the murder porn episode. Yes. When Morgan Freeman had, had explained everything to everyone. <laughs> Why is she reading, like, Life Oh, I know, that, that's a different episode. It is? Yeah, you're, that's. Oh, never mind, that's You're thinking else. of some other episode. That's the episode when, um, when, um. You got me confused, too. I don't know, that's the episode when, um. I should remember now. I'm I mean, like so with Morgan idiot. Freeman is when, is when um, Obama wants, wants, wants to sell the rights to Star Wars to the Chinese. Oh, yeah. Look at this little festival here. But what I'm getting at, though, is like, after this video is going to come out, after, after we make this video, Morgan Freeman is going to come out of nowhere and like, explain the whole up to us why he never ages. <laughs> I think it's like, I think it's like a whole... <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> You know what you're kind of weird? And so the great Deku Tree sent off the little Koroks to fly around all the islands over the great sea. By Morgan Freeman. <laughs> um, you know, you know what I never understood? It's like, it's, like a, it's, like, it's like a bunch of like, it's like a clan of people that like, that, that you see like celebrities that never age. Like Morgan Freeman's one of them. Um, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Uh, Will Smith. Of Will Smith, I've never seen age once in every movie. That's very true. Or, or since the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I've he never seen him age. He looks the same in every movie. Ozzy Osbourne, fuck, I've never seen him age whatsoever. No, yeah. I mean, he probably got a little bit older, but he looked a little bit older. But overall, he looks the same as he did when he was like fucking go, going at it, like hardcore. When like he when he was still like twenty. No, that not not like that though. Okay. Like when he was like probably like forty, whatever. Well, I was just guessing what you were gonna say. I was trying to guess. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Never, I've never seen age. Let's get back to the point first. Huh? Uh, I think that's it though. I've never seen any. Like, there's a lot. Of, there's some people I've seen never age though. I'm really weird. Um, um, Jason Bateman from Arrested Development. Oh, apparently I was watching News 12. Uh, I'm not saying uh, if you if you have cable vision or or IO cable or whatever it is, and you have News 12. I don't know how it is now because I don't watch it anymore because I have Dish Network. <laughs> but when I was when I did have cable vision. Um, I was watching News 12. I was I saw I saw on on, on a thing that's saying that Ozzy Osbourne has mutant genes because he he has like mutant genes because he never he wait never wait wait hold on. So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Rosef, you must grit. You must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Dude, you get like chips all on your side. Tell me that's not me. Should we set sail there first and then end the video, or no? Um, it's gonna take not even that long. We have to no, you know sail. what? After, next, in next episode, we'll, we'll set sail. In the next episode, we'll set sail for Grayfix Shile in order to discover what the hell is going on and get the next pearl. That's